Hi guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. It is nice to see you. Um, we're going to do a quick video on herbalism, and we're going to be talking about lovely lilac, okay? Um, it can be confused as something which I believe is called butterfly button or butterfly tree. You want to make sure, because lilac is edible, that you do not confuse the two. So there are a lot of good videos out there on how to distinguish whether it is a lilac or a butterfly bush, I believe it's called. Um, and you need to look up those, how to do that, because I'm not the person to, to tell you how to do that. I can tell you about herbalism, but I can't tell you much about foraging in nature because I'm not that good at it. It's something I'd really like to get better at. Um, if anybody has suggestions on videos or books on how I can do that, please let me know below. I would greatly appreciate that. <clears throat> so, lilac. Uh, I picked some from my house here, and I picked some from my mother's, and they look different. Let's look at the two. Okay, they were dried at the same time of year, picked the very same week, you know, they, but they look much different from one another. The lilac from my mother's is a lot more purple than the lilac we dried from our house. This has got a lavender tint to it, but look at the difference between those two. This one's almost yellow with a little purple, where this one's purple with a little yellow. <clears throat> and yeah, so I'd have to say that the one from my house looked a little bit lighter, like it was um like um like more of a lilac color that you would see as a, like a color crayon or a paint, whereas this was really vibrant dark amethyst purple, like a deep amethyst. It was gorgeous. So <clears throat> those are those. You can make sugars with them since they're edible. Teas. Um, you could put it in your baking. I mean, really, the possibilities are endless. But let's talk about some ideas from three books that I've got. Um, I've put Florida water in this oil. Like, uh, this is amazing. This atomizer I got on thrift. It's super old, and I just poured my whole bottle of Florida water in there. And I'm putting on my hands before I do anything. Like when I come home from work, I'm like ch -ch 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 -ch, down my body, all over my hands. Now I can work. <clears throat> Work's been better, but I don't want to bring the drama there. Like I don't want that stuff that touched me to touch any of this. So when I come home, I'm like ch -ch -ch, and then I do my working. So, And especially if I do an offering, I do it right before I do that. My My new lady that I love, and I'm binging her channel, and I just love her, um, Primitive Roots. She says it's, a uh, spiritual, Florida water is spiritual Purell, and that's totally ringing so true with me, and I love that. <clears throat> and I love her channel, and I think you guys should all watch it. Um, I'm truly inspired for her, because it's a great hoodoo channel, so. Okay, so Lilac. Lilac. 139. We're reading out of um, The Magical Household by Scott Cunningham and David Harrington. And it looks like I just didn't mark it. This is Lilac 139, I'm just not seeing it on here. <clears throat> well, strange. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here we are. Sorry that took so long. Um, lilacs and hawthorn are traditionally brought into the home on May Day, which is unusual because both plants are generally viewed as ill luck bringers in the house. On this day, though, the spell is broken. So that's really awesome. Lilacs and Hawthorn will, <clears throat> if you bring them in on May Day, 
That's great. All right, so on to the next, which is Scott Cunningham's Magical Herbalism. On lilacs, it looks like there's two points. Uh, one, well, there's at least one here. Lilac introduces far memory. So if you're trying to do shadow work, and you need to get into the back of your brain. What shadow work is kind of like remembering your past if you've reset if you've is it called recessed memories? You yeah, when you put your memories way back to protect yourself, <clears throat> it induces far memory. So it, it might bring back those memories to help you with shadow work. Um, shadow work to me is like a spiritual counseling method, you know. Uh, it makes you a wholer person and, because all these things happen to us for a reason, but maybe they're not happening, like we're not remembering it at the time because our brain is so smart it knows our body would have panicked. So it, it pushes that back. Um, but to become a whole person and to really be spiritually fulfilled and aware, and if you want this to be your last life and move on, <clears throat> then you want to have all your memories from this life because they certainly happen for a reason. And you can also ask your guides, uh, you know, maybe have some lilac tea and ask your guides while you're drinking that, you know, help me bring back any memories I need to know for shadow work. And if you guys want me to do a personal video on that, I have a lot of things that I've done personally to get memories back for shadow work. And really, I will share those things with you guys. It will be hard and I will cry, but um, it's all part of healing. And if I can help somebody else get through that, that would be amazingly helpful to my heart. And it feels like something I need to do spiritually. So please let me know. <clears throat> uh, so lilac induces far memory, the act of recalling past lives. <laughs> I should have read the whole sentence. Anyway. Uh, it is also useful in inducing clairvoyant powers. I love trying to tap into my clairvoyance. Uh, inducing clairvoyant powers in general. It brings peace and harmony. Do you guys see how funny it was that I went on that tangent about how lilac could bring back... Okay, so I need to say this again. Lilac induces far memory, the act of recalling past lives. <laughs> so none of that shadow work talk would have... Uh, you know, so let me know if you want uh, help with shadow work or if you want me to do personal videos on my experiences with shadow work. <clears throat> However, lilac is good for recalling past lives. Okay, and then in uh, my herbal Bible, as I call it, um, Scott Cunningham's Encyclopedia for Magical Herbs, <clears throat> lilac uh, doesn't say a lot. None of these books say a lot. So really use your intuition. Meditate with it. You know, um drink the tea and th and look at the plant and watch some videos on you know what it can help with medicinally and maybe you can get some ideas of how you could tie it in magically if nothing else you could just put it into purple color magic um okay so lilac the folk name is common lilac <clears throat> the gender is feminine the planet is venus the element is water powers are exorcism and protection and the magical uses. Lilac drives away evil where it is planted or strewn and is indeed in New England. Lilacs are originally planted to keep evil from the property. New England is up there where Massachusetts is near. Am I wrong? I don't know. My geography is not great. Um, <clears throat> the flowers fresh can be placed in a haunted house to keep it clear. Oh my goodness. So the little bit that this does say about lilac is amazing. Let's do a quick review on this. Powers are exorcism and protection. Magical uses. It can drive away evil where it is planted or strewn. I'm going to keep some out because I've been doing spirit work right here in my room. I've been, I have an ancestor altar down here which I'm not going to show you because that's where they live and that's their home and I don't want to invade their privacy like that. But I will set you up one that looks like it on top of here in another video and show you what it looks like, but not my actual altar. 
And then I have my grandparents' altar over here, which I've shown you before, but now I've added some other things, and now it's a very personal private living space down there. So um, I will show you their offerings up here before I bring it to them, things like that. Um, so, uh, but again, lilac drives away evil, so I'm going to be keeping this out because I'm ask I know my grandparents, okay? I know their spirits, so asking them in, I got it. But the ancestors of Conjure are, you know, any random spirits. I'm, you know, I haven't called anyone in per se. I'm leaving offerings to the ancestors of Conjure. So, um, until I perfectly, like, something comes to me in a dream or meditation or something starts ringing out, you know, about a certain god or figure like Papa Legba or, you know, there are many people that you can work with. I was thinking about working with Big Mama, um, but in general, I want to, you know, give offerings to the ancestors, so I've been doing that. What I'm saying is I can use lilac. <clears throat> to drive away any evil that may be coming in because no matter what you know realm you pull from there could be a bad spirit and so I need to protect myself right I'm also wearing head coverings for that work you always want to cover your head um, all right and then so lilac as well has got some traditions from New England uh, and where it is planted it will drive evil away in general this keeps evil away and then at the end, I love this one. The flowers fresh can be placed in a haunted house to keep it clear. You guys, it's super exciting. Lilac is so beautiful and gorgeous. And thanks for coming back with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. <laughs> Have a beautiful day.